In this video I'm going to show you how to properly map your USB ports on a Hackintosh that's running macOS Sonoma or macOS Ventura with open core. USB port mapping is something that many users find daunting or complicated, but in reality it's a very simple process that only takes a few minutes, and once it's done it doesn't need to be done again. To perform the port mapping you'll need a USB 2 flash drive, a USB 3 flash drive, and if you have USB-C ports on your PC, a USB-C flash drive. Before beginning, we need to make sure that all of the available USB ports are visible on our system. To do this, we need to enable an open core quirk called XHCI port limit. Run open core auxiliary tools, if you don't already have it, there'll be a link down below, and click on the icon at the top labelled Mount ESP to mount your EFI partition. Select your boot drive in the list, click on Mount and Open Config.plist, then type your macOS user password and click OK. Now select Kernel on the left and click on the Quirks tab at the top. At the bottom of this page, in the right column, you'll see XHCI port limit. Put a check in this box which will enable all of the USB ports to be visible by passing the 15 port limit in macOS. Now we need to add USB inject all.kext. Go to the USB inject all GitHub page, which I'll link down below, scroll down and click on the releases on the right. This will bring you to the download page for the most recent version. Now scroll down and click on the zip file to save it to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click on the zip file to decompress it. Now open the EFI partition on your desktop, then go to EFI OC Kexts and drag USB inject all.kext into your Kexts folder. Now switch back to open core auxiliary tools, click on the add tab at the top and check that the new Kext has been detected and added to your config.p list. Now you can click the save icon at the top and reboot your Hackintosh. After the reboot, we're ready to begin the port mapping. To do this, we're going to be using a program called Hackintool. Go to the Hackintool GitHub page linked below and click on the releases on the right. Now click the link for hackintool.zip to save it to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click on the zip file to decompress it. Then drag the Hackintool icon into your Applications folder. Now open your Applications folder, right click on the Hackintool icon and select Open. The first time you try to open it, you'll see a message from macOS saying that it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Click on Cancel and then do the same thing again. Right click on Hackintool and select Open. This time you'll be given the option to open it. Click on Open and Hacking Tool will run. Now click on the USB icon at the top and you'll see a list of all of the USB ports reported by your computer's firmware. USB 2 port names begin with HS for high speed, while USB 3 port names begin with SS for super speed. Not all of these ports will actually exist on your PC, and macOS has a strict limit of 15 on the maximum number of USB ports. Additionally, macOS counts USB 3 ports as two ports, a USB 2 port and a USB 3 port. So that's why we need to narrow this list down and restrict it to only the ports that actually exist on your motherboard. Let's start with the USB 2 ports. Before beginning, click the broom icon at the bottom to clear the list, and then click the two arrows next to it to refresh. Now, take your USB 2 flash drive and insert it into each of the USB ports on your computer one by one. Plugging it in, waiting a couple of seconds and then taking it out again. As you do this you'll notice that some of the ports in the list begin to turn green. Keep going until you've plugged the drive into all of the USB A ports on your PC. When you're finished you'll find that some of the USB ports in the list haven't turned green. This is because these ports aren't actually present on your motherboard, so we can remove them from our list. In my case, I can see that HS01, HS08, HS10 and HS12, 13 and 14 haven't turned green. 
Select each of the unused ports and click on the minus icon at the bottom to remove them. You'll also notice that there are two ports called USR1 and USR2. These aren't real USB ports and they're not supported in macOS anyway, so we can remove these as well. This leaves us with just the USB 3 ports to map. Take your USB 3 flash drive and insert it into each of your USB 3 ports, the ones with the blue connector. Again, as you do this, you'll see the ports turn green in the list. Finally, if your motherboard has USB Type-C ports, take your USB-C flash drive and insert it into each of your USB-C ports. USB-C ports are a little different as they can be inserted both ways round. Some motherboards have USB-C ports with a switch so that they appear as the same port regardless of which way around you insert the drive. Other motherboards don't have this switch and the port will appear as a different port depending on which way around the drive is inserted. In my case the USB-C port is SSO1 when I insert it one way and it's still SSO1 when I turn it around and insert it the other way. So my port does have the switch. Now we can remove all of the non-existent USB 3 ports. In my case that's SSO5, 6, 7 and 8 and SS10. Now before exporting our text we just need to set the connector types. USB 2 and USB 3 ports can be left as USB 3. The USB-C port connector type depends on whether your Type-C ports have a switch or not. My USB-C port SSO1 does have a switch, so I'm going to select Type-C plus SW in the list. If your USB-C port appears as two different ports depending on which way around you inserted the drive, then you'll need to select Type-C for both. Now we're ready to export the text. Click on the export button at the bottom on the right. This will export a total of 5 files to your desktop, but the only one I'm going to be using is the file called usbports.kext. Run Open Core Auxiliary Tools again and mount your FE partition. Open your FE partition, then go to FE OC Kexts and delete the USB Inject All Kext from the folder since it's no longer needed. Now drag the USB Ports Kext from your desktop into the Kexts folder. With that done, switch back to Open Core Auxiliary Tools, select Kernel on the left, and check that USB ports.kext has been added to the list, and that USB Inject All Kext is gone. Finally, select the Quirks tab at the top, and remove the check next to XHCI port limit. Now we're all done, and you can click the Save icon at the top, quit OCAT, and reboot your Hackintosh. After rebooting you should find that all of your USB ports are now working properly and at the right speed. I hope this video helps, if you have any questions put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.